Hello friends, this is Rupesh and I'm watching C Winners video series on smart pointers and this is video is about a weak pointer in C++. Uh oh. So we have already studied about a unique pointer and a shared pointer and a introduction video what that smart pointer means. I mean why it came in the first place. So if you have not watched my previous video, I would say that please go ahead and watch them. You'll get the link in the description as well. Don't worry about that. So let's go ahead with this video. So the first point is if we say unique pointer is a unique ownership. So ding ding, the prerequisite for this video is you should be knowing what is unique pointer and what is shared pointer. Then only you should know, I mean, you should go ahead with this video. Otherwise go ahead and please watch the previous videos. Okay, I repeated this. Okay. So the first point is if we say unique pointer is a unique ownership, obviously we have studied that unique pointer means it will hold the managed object and it would not allow anyone to handle that object what i mean is let's suppose if you have this p here and this p is actually managed by unique pointer some unique pointer then you cannot copy this unique pointer remember but let's suppose you have the similar p but if you are using shared pointer then you can copy this shared pointer in several different variables and we will use a reference count to actually count that how many smart pointers are using or pointing to this particular managed object. That was the job, right? Now, if we say that, obviously, if unique pointer is for unique ownership, shared pointer is for shared ownership, then weak pointer is for no ownership or known none ownership smart pointer. So you understood, right? It is very easy to understand this. Unique means one, shared means several, and weak pointer means it will actually won't participate in the ownership at all. So this is what the job is. Cool, right? So uh, let's move to the next point. It actually refers to an object which is managed by a shared pointer. Yes. So now the question comes that if weak pointer will not have ownership, like these two guys, this is first and this is second. So how this weak pointer will be handled? Now the point is actually weak pointer don't have anything with it. It actually takes the managed object from shared pointer that we will see here. See, once I have created this shared pointer and yeah, in my previous video, I actually forgot to make this uh, point that we can actually create a shared pointer using this function make shared. Okay. So I just forgot that make this point. So we have two functions make unique make shared. Okay, so we have this shared pointer which is actually pointing to this dynamically created object of integer pointer type or pointer to an integer and holding 100. So let's make it like this. Let's suppose this is, okay, wait a minute. This is a 100 and this is stored here and let's make the address is maybe 1000 and this is the value, okay? And we are actually pointing to this one. So which is shared pointer, this guy. Now, can you see this? I'm creating a weak pointer by assigning a shared pointer inside that. So that's what this point is. It actually refers to an object which is managed by shared pointer. So in order to create weak pointer, you have to have shared pointer because correct. That's what I said. Weak pointer don't have any ownership. It cannot own any object. It will only take the ownership from shared pointer and it does not take the ownership. It just reference it. And wait a minute, if you will initialize shared pointer into a weak pointer like what we are doing here, then it will not increase the reference count. This is going to print one and shared pointer use count is going to print one. And this is weak dot expired. It is going to print false. Uh, in that case, it is going to print zero because this weak pointer is not expired actually. And here we'll see that, okay, yeah, weak pointer dot lock. This is very important function. With this, you are saying that Dude, I was pointing to some shared pointer. Is it still alive? With this function, you are locking that. And if you successfully got the lock, it is actually not that uh, thread lock or something, but its name is lock. So if you got the lock and you return some shared pointer, means still that shared pointer is alive. What I mean is, see, this weak pointer was pointing to this shared pointer, right? So when I'm doing this, this function will actually check whether this shared pointer is existing or not. If it is existing, it will return that here. This if and this condition will hold true. So we'll go inside this and we'll print this dereference shared pointer means we'll print 100 here. So this will end up printing 100. 
And now if you see here, the use point of this guy would be 2 here. Yes, you are correct. It is going to be 2 now because we are going to initialize this shared pointer into this shared pointer. Why a weak pointer? It doesn't matter. The important point was, if you are initializing this shared pointer into the weak pointer, the count is not increasing. It is still 1. But if you are initializing this weak pointer into some shared pointer, then the count will actually increase. So it's like this, shared to weak and then to share. Okay, so this is already one count and after initializing here, it is still one, but here it is two. It's that simple. So let's move here. We will not go inside this because we already got this true because this shared pointer was not null here. And then we will do this weak pointer reset. This will actually reset. And now this weak pointer is not pointing to this shared pointer. So it's that simple. So this is a very important function. And uh, let's look at this. Another point, it is saying that a weak pointer is created as a copy of a shared pointer. That's what we saw here. We will copy the shared pointer and we will create a weak pointer. Another third point is, we have to convert weak pointer to shared pointer in order to use the managed object. Can you see this? I'm locking it and initializing into some shared pointer and with the help of shared pointer, I'm using or dereferencing my managed object here. So we are getting this 100. I am not dereferencing weak pointer. Why? Yes, actually I forgot to wrote the, that point here. And the point is, actually you cannot reference using this weak pointer. You can only get the strong pointer using weak pointer. Okay, don't uh, go into that strong pointer stuff. The whole idea is, uh, okay, see this diagram here. With shared pointer, you created a weak pointer. Now, if you will dereference this and start using without actually converting into some another shared pointer then the possibility is this is actually gone okay then you will be dereferencing something which is not existing so that's why you always have to initialize your weak pointer into some shared pointer so that it will actually increment the reference count so even if this guy goes off the reference count is still two here so if this goes down the reference count will become one here so if it is still one then i mean it's you are holding it right so this will not call the destructor to destroy this one okay so it's that point you always have to initialize weak pointer to some shared pointer in order to use it remember this okay cool right okay so now the fourth point is it is used to remove cyclic dependency between shared pointer this is actually very good point let me rub all these things there is this mother object and we have daughter and a son. So if you have these classes, these are the classes and the cyclic dependency would be for this daughter, the mother is this one and the mother daughter is this one. And similarly for son, mother is this mother and for mother son is this one. So can you see this uh, cyclic uh, nature here? Yes. For daughter, this is the mother for mother this class is the daughter so we have the cycle here and if we are maintaining mother inside this uh, daughter as a shared pointer shared pointer mother and here sorry here if it is a shared pointer mother and similarly here also shared pointer son and here also shared pointer daughter okay so can you see this we have this cyclic dependencies in between these classes and now you cannot destroy these objects because they are actually pointing to one and another and the reference count for these smart pointers will not go down. Okay, I'll show that example and execute this example first then we'll go for this one. Okay, so let's go to execute this guy first. So if I'll execute this one, it is executed. E dot out. See what I said. Uh, so for this. See, can you see this? You created this shared pointer and initialized into this weak pointer. Now the use count is one for weak pointer, one for shared pointer, and it is not expired. This is zero means null, I mean uh, false. So this is not expired. So if this shared pointer is expired, then it will print that it is expired. So this will actually check whether the shared pointer I am pointing to is expired or not. So that's why it is printing zero here. And we lock the shared pointer what we are referring so we are actually referring to this guy now and we are initializing that to another shared pointer pdr1 and if that goes true means if we really have the object here then in that case 
will go inside this and actually that is true because nothing is destroyed yet. So dereferencing this shared pointer will actually print the 100 because we have initialized 100 here, that's cool. And the shared pointer PDR one use count will be two. So can you see this? If you are initializing into the shared pointer, then only the use count will increase. Otherwise, weak pointer will never increase the reference count. Mind that, that is really very important. So if we insert this one, we will not go here. So let's come down. So this code snippet and this code snippet is actually similar. The difference is we are resetting our weak pointer in between these two snippets. So as we reset it, we will not go here because now we are actually not pointing to that shared pointer. And if we will try to lock it, we will not get anything here. So we will not go inside this because this condition will be false. So we will not go here. That's why we are printing this don't get the resource in the end. So once you reset, you are not actually pointing to what you was pointing before. It's that simple. So this was a cool example to understand what is weak pointer and how actually it works. And now let's see the basic or uh, uh, the very important use case of weak pointer. Okay, I'll comment this. Let's go down and uncomment this one. I have program ready for you so that I won't waste so much of time in typing all these things. And if you're a member to this channel, you will get all these programs very easily in my member community. So thanks for those guys who are already the member of this channel. Okay, so this is the relation what I was trying to explain you with the diagram you remember mother and son and the daughter. So see this is your mother class. Uh, let me shrink them. Okay, so this is the actual uh, design. So you have mother object, you have son object and you have daughter object. So if you see here, we have this weak pointer, my son and my daughter. So let me make this uh, a shared pointer so that we'll see the difference. Okay, so we have this mother object. Now go for this son object. So son is actually pointing to mother as a shared pointer. And similarly, daughter object is pointing to mother as a shared pointer. So this is exactly what diagram I draw there, right? Mother is pointing to both son and daughter and son is pointing to mother and daughter is pointing to mother. And now this is the driver function. It is very simple. Can you see this? We are creating this mother using shared pointer. Son is also created using shared pointer, but son actually needs an input that what is the mother. So we are actually sending this mother and similarly for the daughter, we are sending this mother. So actually we are setting these mothers in the children's object. After doing that, we are setting these kids into the mother object. So that's how you are actually establishing the connection between the objects. Okay, if you want to see this, see we are not doing anything fancy. We're just simply setting this shared pointer here and similarly this guy. So now if I will execute this as we know that they are shared pointer and I should not be worrying about the destruction of these guys. They will automatically be destructed. But the point is they won't. Uh, and the important point is uh, yeah, both are shared pointer. So if we have shared pointer, it will not break the cyclic dependency. Uh, let me just compile this. Okay, compile successfully and I'll execute this guy. Uh oh, okay, executed. See, can you see this? There is nothing printed here. And in every destructor, if you see here, see I'm printing in son destructor, son gone, in a mother's destructor, mother gone, and a daughter's destructor, daughter gone. But no destructor was called because we are having tight coupling. We are not able to destruct because one pointer or a shared pointer is pointed to another one. So there is a cyclic dependency. So in order to break that cyclic dependency, let's do this we will create this as a weak pointer, not the shared pointer. So see the difference. I'll compile this, execute this. Okay, see now sun has gone. So I'll create this sun as a weak pointer and then sun is able to get destroyed. If I'll make this also a weak pointer, then daughter will also go and mother will also go. Okay, so let me just compile this and execute this. See daughter gone, son gone and then mother gone. So this is one of the important job of these weak pointer that we have to break the cycle. So you have to use weak pointers. 
because they do not increase the reference count so they do not participate in increasing the ownership oh yeah you, uh, you oh, sorry 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 you might be thinking that uh, i'm making them a weak pointer but i'm still passing these shared pointer it doesn't matter uh, let me do this uh shared pointer and this guy should be a shared pointer it won't matter because we are not holding a shared pointer we are just passing it and once you have initialized it this will get destroyed because this is a temporary object we know how temporary object works right so let me just compile this guy and execute see there is no change but if you will make a uh, sun uh, shared pointer and save this sorry okay i just forgot to do this as dot lock you remember we were using lock to actually get this so i'll compile this sorry compile this and execute this son and mothers are not destroyed only daughter is destroyed and it is obvious that if son is not destroyed then all then only mother is not destroyed because the cyclic dependency still exists because only daughter is gone son is still there in the cyclic dependency so that if son is having cyclic dependency with mother then mother will also not be destroyed so i think i have made my point here so before completing this video i have an announcement for you guys actually youtube have given me the facility that i can create members to this channel yes now you can be a official member to my channel and you can get the benefits so go ahead and explore what you get when you become a member and big thanks to those guys who are already my members and if you are new to this channel do subscribe so that you can get the notification for upcoming videos like this i'll see you in the next video bye bye take care